beautiful British Columbia, as our government puts it, is the best place on earth. Each year, four million residents enjoy all the festivals, cheering on their favorite sports teams, and taking in all the arts and culture of BC. BC isn't a hard place to brag about, but it's also easy to point out its flaws, one of which is our justice system. What comes across really clearly to us is that it's very difficult for people to navigate through the system if they don't have uh, access to legal representation services. What we're missing in the system is, is the connect, the connections between the experience of people on the ground with that system um, and what we want the system to be and believe it is and should be. For years, British Columbia had boasted one of the most progressive legal aid systems in the country, if not the world. We had native community law offices, uh, poverty law clinics, family law, criminal law and immigration clinics. Legal aid uh, has a history of supporting agencies that do that work and also providing direct services. It's no secret that the cost of legal services is an obstacle for many residents. But the problem is far more severe when it hits those with low income. Working class people, they don't fall either low income and they are not rich enough to afford a private lawyer. Most people who require assistance from places like Legal Services Society often face very particular problems. My situation was pretty specific, like there was a real time crunch and I, I faced homelessness. I remember seeing my lawyer do this. And that's when I knew it was, like, not good. Some of the issues that we deal with, we often are approached by, for example, we've been working with a lot of large groups of farm workers in the last number of years who, who've um, had difficulty accessing employment insurance. We got involved with the BC system because of the farm working issues that we were involved in. Often these groups of workers weren't eligible for legal aid uh, or the legal aid that they did have was shut down in 2002 so they le were left with nothing. We just want justice. Ontario and Quebec have maintained strong community-based legal aid despite the same fiscal challenges faced by BC. How is it that they can afford to maintain an accessible justice system while BC cannot? Provinces like Ontario have extensive legal aid clinic systems. We have nothing. And it's embarrassing as a lawyer um, to, to, to uh, be part of this. There's no access to representation and it's the one thing that's uh, critical. Since the early 90s, the Legal Services Society has operated on an increasingly tight budget. In 2001, they totally, the federal government have totally eliminated the civil law and um, it, it is affecting a large number of people. There is a large group who fall in those low income categories and there isn't any help available. In 2002, the BC government announced mega cuts to legal aid, including funding reduction by 39%. Those cuts reduced the intake of clients to Legal Services Society from 185,000 in 2001 to approximately 90,000 in 2004. One of the big hits that we took uh, was back in 2002 when uh, they closed all the legal services community law offices where people could go and speak to a paralegal or lawyer. Despite these cuts, demands for legal aid in British Columbia, especially in the Lower Mainland, has continued to grow at an alarming rate. And I couldn't get uh, a lawyer to take my case because it was provincial, at the same time it was federal. I mean, I still tried for five more years to get help. To get justice for myself, I had to launch a personal website, start campaigning around the issue to bring awareness and importance. They told me that because my matter was not urgent, i.e., you know, I wasn't in dire, I need a need of, um, the funds, I wasn't getting uh, threatened of being dead in a day or two and I wasn't uh, heading to criminal court, uh, that they were not able to provide the funds for me. In December of 2008, the Legal Services Society announced that over 80% of low-income British Columbians experienced a legal problem that was not only serious but difficult to resolve. Three weeks after releasing that statement, the Legal Services Society announced yet another round of cuts that would impact services. A lot of people that are low income, they're not being 
they're not getting any kind of legal help at the moment. Most of the general public may not have an understanding about legal aid, what it means and, and what it affords people or doesn't. Um, and I don't know that many people are aware that there just really isn't much of it left. Reductions in operations and staffing are being made to offices across the Lower Mainland and Law Line. This effect will take place on April 30th, 2009. While Legal Services Society maintains a stance that those in extreme need will continue to receive adequate services, the cuts will make the process of accessing justice much more difficult than it already is. With every cut that has happened, uh, that there's people that have been suffered as a result of that. Last week I called 10 lawyers and nobody could take her case because uh, either they are not taking the legal aid cases or they are too busy right now. My experience has been so horrible and who knows if I had have had a good lawyer and a wise judge maybe it would have been different. My life has changed so dramatically you know in the last three four years I mean before that I was you know, I was halfway through my MBA program, had a um, very exciting career, uh, had wonderful prospects, I was traveling a lot, you know, friends all over the world, and you know, now I'm stuck in a process. I think that access to representation is critical, and it, it certainly feels like it's a, almost a human right that's being denied. Um, I know that criminals get a lawyer, it's like the first thing they get. Um, so that's the thing, right? If I killed someone, I would have gotten a lawyer. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't, so I didn't. And uh, the, the outcomes, I, I'm really confident, would have been very, very different if I had representation. We need to create open dialogue with the stakeholders of the legal system so that everyone has a right to legal assistance and to understand what justice means for them. There's this idea that if you invest money in things, that money is lost. but. Um, what I'm aware of is if you don't, then more money is lost <laughs> because of the fallout. We need to come up with a system that really does work and is sustainable in a long, because with the current economic crisis and people losing their jobs, you know, the increase in um, people who need employment law and poverty law services, people, family relationships, the stress and tension that, that is going to emerge, if we don't deal with this now, we're never going to create sustainable systems that are working for people. It is, the sub stories, don't get me wrong, they have to be told, but they have to be told in a manner that is able to be palatable and understood by someone, a third party that doesn't really know these things, that needs those elements to be told in a certain logical manner. You need to come and create awareness and talk to your MLAs, MPs, so that they know what's happening and if possible sign petitions because those are the ways you can definitely make a difference. Visit access to justice.ca for more information and find out how you can get involved in helping those in need of legal services in BC.